Okay guys, part two, we're gonna go over how to solve two sub equations, how to solve equations with parentheses, and then we're gonna go over how to solve equations with variables on both sides. So let's get started with two step equations. So we already reviewed one step equations that only require one step in order to solve. And so two step equations require two steps in order to solve. So let's go ahead and write an example. 2x plus five is equal to 15. Again, if you're using the notes that I provided, then you should be able to write right next to the example problems, this equation. For those of you who haven't seen the first video, um, I mentioned that in the description box, there's a link to a Google document where I've shared with you guys a way that you can take notes exactly as I am while we're watching the video together. So if you're carrying along and you're following along, you probably already have this, but if you don't have it yet, press pause, download it, and then let's get started, okay? So 2x plus 5 is equal to 15. Again, we're going to do two steps to solve. The first step is usually adding or subtracting. And the second step is dividing. Okay, so again, the goal remains the same to get the variable by itself. In this case, the variable is the x. There are two things that are causing the x to not be by itself, the number 2 and the number 5. So we're going to get rid of the number that is not attached to the x first. So the number that's not attached to the x is the plus 5. The opposite of plus 5 is minus 5. So we're going to minus 5 from both sides. And we're left with 2x equals 15 minus 5, which is equal to 10. So we did our first step, which was add or subtract the number that is not attached to the x. So the second step is going to be dividing. Why are we dividing? Well, as we learned in the last video, any time you have a number next to a variable, they're actually being multiplied. So if we want to get rid of that number, we have to do the opposite, which is dividing. So we're going to divide both sides by that number 2 that we're trying to get rid of. The 2s cancel each other out, and you're left with x is equal to 10 divided by 2, which is equal to 5. Again, we use two steps in order to solve, adding and subtracting and dividing. So let's go ahead and do another example just so that we can cement this. So we're going to do 15 plus 6x equals 45. Again, we're going to do two steps to isolate the variable. So we're going to ask ourselves what two things are in the way of the x being by itself, the number 15 and the number 6. We're going to get rid of the number 15 first because that's the number that is not attached to the x. So we're going to ask ourselves, is this a positive 15 or a negative 15? For those of you who watched my video previously, you'll know that it is a positive 15 because there was nothing written right in front of it. So it's positive 15. We get rid of the positive 15 by subtracting 15 from both sides. So we're left with 6x is equal to 30. So we did the first step, which was add and subtract. Okay, so do you remember what the second step was? Yes, it's to divide. So remember, anytime you have a number written next to the variable, they're being multiplied. So to get rid of the six, you have to do the opposite, which is dividing, and you're left with x is equal to five. Well done, you guys. So I know you guys feel that I may be a little bit repetitive, but the reason why I keep repeating is because it cements what we're learning in your brain. So you, when you have problems like this in your first college algebra class, you're gonna even be able to picture these two steps in your head because I've written them over and over again. So just remember, we repeat so that we remember. Okay, so we're gonna go to how to solve equations with parentheses. So the only difference between what we were doing and what we're doing in this um, equations is that you're gonna see parentheses in the equation. So I'll give you an example. 2x plus 5 is equal to 50. Okay, so when we are doing anything that has a parenthesis, the parenthesis just helps us to know that we're going to have to distribute. So I'm going to write that. Parentheses equals distribute. What are we distributing? We're distributing the 2. So I like to make arrows to show what I'm going to have to multiply that 2 against. First, I have to multiply that 2 by the x. 
then I have to multiply that two by the five. Don't be ashamed to make those arrows. Just make the arrows. The arrows will help you to remember what it is that you need to multiply. So it doesn't matter how old you are, whether you're five, 50, or 75, please remember to make the arrows. Also, if you're doing math at the age 75, well, <laughs> go you. Anyway, so two times X is two X, and then two times five is positive 10. Bring down the equal sign and bring down the 50. So now that we took care of the parentheses by distributing the two, we now just have a regular two-step equation. And so remember the two steps of the two-step equation, one, we're gonna add slash subtract, and two, we're gonna divide. Okay, so the 10 is a number that is not attached to the X. So we're gonna get rid of the 10 first by subtracting it from both sides. We're left with two X is equal to 40. And then we're gonna divide both sides by two because right now the two is being multiplied by the X. To get rid of it, we do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So we're left with X is equal to 20. So if I asked you guys, how do you solve an equation that has parentheses in it? What would you say back to me? If you said, well, you just distribute the number outside the parentheses by multiplying it by everything that's inside the parentheses, and then you go ahead and solve it like a regular two-step equation, then you got the answer right. Wonderful job. I know you guys wanted to say that, but you just couldn't because the whole virtual thing, you know, making videos is all so one-sided. All right, so let's get another example with parentheses just to make sure that you guys have it down pack. Um, two and then 20 plus X is equal to 50. So the parentheses means we distribute. We're distributing the two times the 20, two times the X. We made the arrows because we're never too old for arrows. We made the arrows, two times 20 is 40. Two times X is two X equals 50. Okay, two step equations mean that we do two steps. The first step is add, subtract. The second step is divide. We're gonna be thinking about that tonight in our dreams because I've said it so very, so, so much. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of the 40 first because the 40 is the number that is not attached to the variable X, the two is attached. So this 40 is positive. We're gonna subtract 40 from both sides and we're left with two X is equal to 10. The two is being multiplied by the X. So to get rid of it, we got to divide by two and X is going to be equal to five. I hope that X is not equal to five in every single problem <laughs> that we go over together. But the point is, is that we now know how to do equations with parentheses. We distribute, then we add, subtract, and then we divide. It's three steps, but just the extra step is the one with the parentheses. Very simple, very easy, nothing to get intimidated by. I hope your hands go up when your teacher or your professor, let's say your professor, asks you guys if you feel comfortable um, answering questions with parentheses because you all should be because you guys are now experts.